city skyline gets bigger, some say the number of affordable homes should keep up. The proposal could mean the city wouldn't have to turn to the state and federal government as much. Those who rely on affordable housing are hopeful. Hey, Dan, how are you? One diagnosis and life was suddenly different for Sean Garcia. I had a pretty good job, worked for the city, but uh, I woke up one day and I had MS and life changed. Unable to stay at his city construction job, Garcia now lives in affordable housing. He's making Excuse ends meet. Me. I'm blessed. I got a, uh, a little pinch of change that allows me to be able to stay here. Affordable housing is obviously very important to our community. And we want to make sure that we are proactive and address it uh, before we're in a situation like other cities. City Councilman and mayoral candidate Scott Taylor introducing a proposal for our city to have its own affordable housing fund. So I think we really need something at the local level. Under the proposal, the city would use the extra money when it comes in from expired building tax incentives. As Kansas City grows. It's up on the rise. You can see it, you know, more and more people or moving in. Garcia hopes there will always be room for everyone. We just need more affordable housing because Kansas City is a, a wonderful city to bring up your children in. Lisa D'Souza, KMBC 9 News.